Hey guys, Mike here. So welcome to another rainy day in Florida. As you can see, it finally stopped thundering and lightning enough for me to actually film this, I think. Hopefully I can hear it coming back. But anyway, sorry if that interrupts us. Um, but today I want to talk about, you know, a little bit about MP materials. And then more importantly though, talk about this news coming out of Afghanistan. Everybody knows we're pulling out. And but more importantly, just how I don't know what the level of ineptitude is of our government. Uh, as far as the decision making uh, with what I'm about to talk about, which actually concerns MP materials. But, you know, I'm not going to do an intro and say sign this or, or you know, sign up for this or whatever. I just want to get into it because to me it's pretty disturbing on multiple levels. And I definitely want to get your feedback on this and what you think. Maybe I'm just totally missing something. And maybe we've been hearing about this for 20 years. I'm a news junkie, especially after starting this channel. I have never heard anything about it, even after covering detailed videos on MP materials in China and Linus in Australia when it comes to rare earth minerals. And, you know, but to me, this is disturbing on many, many levels. So let's go ahead and get to the news, and then we're going to talk about why this is so dangerous and so just, just dumb on so many levels. Uh, I can't even begin to explain it. So check this video right here out real quick. Afghanistan is practically the Saudi Arabia of lithium. There are trillions of dollars worth of uh, rare earth minerals there in the ground there. Can you walk us through the economic and the commercial motivation behind what China has done? Well, if in fact that is true, and there are minerals in Afghanistan that can be exploited, and the Taliban actually emerged with resources, that is a very dangerous proposition for the world. And as you can see, guys, here's what came out today. China may align itself with Taliban and try to exploit Afghanistan's rare earth metals. And that came out August 17th, uh, early this morning. And then, you know, you come over here and it's like Afghanistan's uh, rare earth metals are estimated to be worth between one and three trillion dollars. And what makes it even worse, as I've talked about many times before, is China dominates this market. And about 35% of rare earth global reserves are already in China. And they actually have to process our stuff for us from the MP materials mine already. And as you can see right here, I mean, they own 70% of the market as of 2018. And for those who have never seen any of my MP materials or rare earth minerals videos, this is at the MP materials mine right here. Currently, they've got to process that in China, Tyler and Kelly, but next year, hopefully, they'll process here. So we are still reliant. It is not just about AirPods, though. As you noted in the intro, it's about military. They can't go into exactly what it's used for. But yesterday, the highest ranking technology scientist, a geologist at the Pentagon, which, by the way, just recently put nearly $10 million into this facility, they were here randomly. We did not know when we planned the trip, but we did get some words on camera. Dr. Stephanie Tompkins told us about why those rocks are so critical to national security. The magnets are embedded in a lot of different military systems. Um, for example, in aircraft, they will be part of many, many different subsystems. And the real importance of these magnets is that because of the powerful sort of magnetic properties, they allow you to have lightweight materials. If you had to replace the, the rare earth magnets with, say, more classic iron-based uh, materials, you, they would be so heavy and so bulky. And so I don't know about you. Maybe I missed it. Maybe, I mean, I have friends of mine that have fought in Afghanistan. I'm a veteran, so I know other soldiers. And we'd had many discussions on, well, what are we doing over there? What are we there to accomplish? I mean, Bin Laden, you know, was killed in 2011. They were still there. What are we doing? And, and they would tell me, it was pretty much the consensus was that they'll never build a function on their own because they don't have an economy, right? They got coca, that's about it, right? But nobody ever, and I never saw the news, rare earth minerals. When I did research on MP materials and Linus, you know, and how much China controlled and all this stuff. Afghanistan never came up my research, you know, and hit me up in the comments if it did for you. And I've never heard our government even mention it, okay, at all. And so, you know, that to me, when I saw this come out, I was like, this is, this is stunning to me. And it wasn't that our government didn't know, okay, because China signed a 30-year contract with one of the governments in Afghanistan to mine, I think it was like $100 billion, $100 billion worth of copper or 100 billion pounds of copper, whatever it was. And of course, because of the war, that got scratched or something had happened. So that was out, but that was like in 2007, right? 
And so it's not like we didn't know this stuff didn't exist. At least I hope we, we knew it existed over there. My God, we got something really wrong with our intelligence. And so, you know, we knew what was going on. And yet in 20 years, here we are, 20 years later, 2,300 soldiers gave their lives over there. Thousands more wounded, some critically wounded. And, we'll, you know, their lives will be changed forever, unfortunately. You know, $800 billion spent on it. And yet, here we go. We're leaving, and of course, Taliban rolls and takes everything over. And now they're going to sit there and be able to work with China if this deal goes through and reap hundreds of billions, maybe trillions of dollars off of these rare earth minerals. And then China, of course, will control even more of the market now, right? And I'm just sitting there going, well, where were we in all this? How come we didn't set something up over there and say, look, we're over there fighting for you. Our soldiers are giving their lives for you. We need to set up some kind of economy for you. Here, here's all this rare earth minerals worth trillions maybe. You know, why don't we mine it? Because we have the technology. We'll get MP materials, whoever. You know, we put all this money in MP materials, my God. And then we're putting money into uh, Linus to come into Texas, I believe it is, and try to help out there. Why couldn't we get the companies, get Australia to come in there? All different kind of companies work together to start mining these rare earth minerals. And then the United States and Australia, who's now ally, and Afghanistan would have a bigger piece of the pie instead of just giving it, literally just handing it over to China and say, well, here you go. You know, I, I mean, and so I don't really blame China for doing what they're doing because, hey, they're like, we'll, we'll take the deal. You know, I mean, get in there, right? They got us by a stranglehold. They know this. On the other hand, on the dangerous front, now you're going to get, the Taliban, how much money to do whatever they want to do with it? You know, and again, this is a finance channel. I'm not going to get into what, you know, we all know what they're about. But it's like, my God, it's supposed to be one of our main enemies. And now you're going to be, basically, they're going to be funded with endless amounts of money to do whatever they want to do. And I'm, I must be missing something. I have looked over the computer to figure out how can we drop the ball this badly? I, I don't understand that. I'm confused. I'm, I'm literally confused today. When I saw that, I was going to put a whole, totally different video out today. And then I saw this and I was like, I gotta be missing something. So sometimes I like to reach out to the community and say, hey, what the hell am I missing? Like, you know, send it to me, send me the link, send me the information because this is ridiculous on so many fronts. It, it's, and, and it's so bad for us. Remember, you know, President Trump said this is a, a national security uh, issue and he labeled it that, thank God. And then here comes uh, the new administration said, yep, sure is. And so we keep giving money, you know, we're piling money in MP materials and other resources trying to you know, gather and make sure we have enough materials and actually be able to actually process it here in the States, but hopefully it will happen next year, I believe it is, hopefully, um, because we realize China has a stranglehold and we need it. We need it for military things. We need it for everything. You name it, we need it, okay? And if we ever want to grow our alternative energy industry in this country, we definitely are going to need those rare earth minerals, especially for the EV sector. And so, you know, it, it's just mind boggling. I don't know. Am I the only one scratching my head right now saying, what, what's, what's going on? Like, I just I wake up to that news. And I'm like, really? Like, that's nuts. All right. So I'm going to get on my soapbox on that one. Send me your sources if I'm missing something or, or whatever. And maybe it's not a big deal. I, I just find it to be a huge deal on so many fronts. And I almost feel almost like offended. I hate to say it because, you know, I think we've all known somebody personally who has, you know, either lost their life over there fighting or knowing the family member who's related to that person who lost their life. And I'm going, really? I mean, it's, it's almost like a slap in the face or something. I mean, it's just nuts. Like, what the heck is going on here? And so anyway, I'm going to stop ranting on that. Um, and going to MP materials. So MP materials, obviously, I've done multiple videos on them. And, and I will say the one thing about them, they're coming along slowly, doing what they're supposed to do, following the process, trying to get you know up and running and be able to actually process the materials, which is almost the most important part. Because uh, we know the rare earth minerals are there, but the problem is China has a process for them. So that obviously puts them behind the eight ball, right? And so, you know, looking at their chart, they always say this for MP materials. One thing about them, their stock is actually held up rather well, and they really do go off their moving averages. I mean, this stock bounced, right? Like during the sell-off, they didn't sell off at all at first, right? They bounced off that 20-day, then they finally collapsed in March. But right when they hit that 200-day EMA, boom. They bounced, started going this trend right here and bouncing off this trend line and now have recently with the market selling off major today, 
uh, recently broke through the trend line. And so we're probably going to end up testing around the $31 uh, resistance level or support level, excuse me. So I'm hoping they can hold that. We shall see if we break below that. Obviously, we're heading back down to 25. And you know, just to remind you guys, this is the top analyst over at Tip Ranks right here. And you can see they have on average a $44 price target up 33% from here. And if you look down at the bottom here, they have four analysts all ready to buy, no holds, no sales. And it was just reiterated by Morgan Stanley, a $43 price target, which is almost a 30% upside from here. They did that yesterday. And to me, and I've said this multiple times, and I apologize if the rain is driving you crazy here, but it's starting to rain again, but I'm almost done. Uh, that, you know, a company that had become, that has come public via a SPAC merger, you know, this company has held up well, right? Uh, and when the sell-off started happening February 12th, they went up quite a bit, actually, for about a month. And then finally, they broke down, right? And, but as soon as they hit that 200 EMA, I showed you, boom, started trending right back up, started bouncing off that trend line. So they actually respect the EMAs, at least the stock does, and their support levels. And so they have held up relatively well compared to other SPAC mergers, okay? I mean, I don't think there's any question about that. And so one thing that makes this one more valuable than a lot of them, though, is because the government's behind them. The U.S. government's the biggest economy in the world right here. And, you know, when our government gets behind something, they throw a lot of money into it, okay? And they're throwing money into materials. I've said it before, they will not let it fail because we have to have it, right? We have to have it. And so, you know, rare earth minerals are becoming a big topic and everything. Uh, again, I am disturbed and, you know, hope you guys will send me a source that, you know, makes me go, ah, no big deal. Um, and again, the deal is not complete between China and Afghanistan. Hopefully the UN gets involved, other people get involved and prohibit that from happening. But again, somebody has to mine those minerals. Why would they just be sitting there, right? But again, we were there for 20 years and we didn't call our, you know, in Australia or anybody to help mine those minerals at all. So, you know, hopefully that doesn't happen. But, you know, MP materials is an important part of our national security in this country. Now that it's been labeled that. And so if you are holding the stock for me, you know, I, I this is definitely one of those ones when everything kind of sells down the market because, you know, uh, I've done videos before and I have another video coming out about why today is so red. It, I'm not surprised a bit at today. I don't be surprised tomorrow either uh, if it's red. But, you know, it's one of those things where this is definitely one of those ones, you know, getting for the future, getting leap options on, all that good stuff. Uh, I think it's going to pay off rather handsomely in the long run, especially when they can start processing those materials. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, when they can start processing their own materials. Yeah. I mean, th this company is going to go through the roof. So uh, because they are just in order to get our you know, alternative energy industry booming here especially the ev market gotta have that stuff gotta have it i mean you just, just know what sounds about it and we need to be able to process it here and so i hope you got some out of this guys let me know in the comments if you got a different opinion or straighten me out i don't mind a bit so uh you know it doesn't bother me at all and i'm kind of hoping you can prove my concern wrong actually but anyway hope you have a good night and i'll see you tomorrow